Real Estate Investing Success St. Louis Season 2 is proudly sponsored by the industry certified construction experts at ARS Construction. Let's face it, your property is ugly as f. ARS Construction does it right, from roofing to exterior to all your interior needs. For a free roofing estimate, call now at 844 445 Roof. That's 844 445 7663. Or visit Advanced Roof sys.com that's advanced roof sys.com ars construction roofing and construction done right Good day, investors. I'm Antonio Holman, founder of United States Real Estate Investor at UnitedStatesRealEstateInvestor.com, and welcome to Real Estate Investing Success St. Louis Season 2, where I chat with successful real estate investors about the ins and outs and the ups and downs of the real estate investing industry right here in St. Louis, Missouri. Let's get into today's conversation. From curious and intrigued to immersive studying to now an off-market lead generation expert, Matt Camp is a real estate investing success. All right, Matt, are you ready to talk real estate investing with us today? Happy to. Yeah, thanks again for having me on. All right, cool. So this is going to be a little out of the ordinary uh, uh, compared to the previous real estate investing success episodes we did. All right. So, Matt, uh, you work for the awesome deal machine company that helps a lot of real estate investors, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Okay. So, aside from your real estate investing and deal machine life and world, tell us a little bit about your personal life. Yeah, I'm happy to. I mean, I think um, my background as well, it was uh, kind of a mix between, um, you know, marketing, sales, just kind of online startup focus, and then um, been been slowly, obviously getting into real estate more and more and more. Um, so I, I think I could probably relate to a fair number of people who are, who are listening to this now in terms of their real estate journey. But, um, you know, my, my background, I'm uh, based out of St. Louis, uh, you know, so not too far from you. Um, have a, a three kids at home, um, all uh, ages five and under. So they're, they're, uh, it's a full house to say the least. Um, and then my background journey, you know, again, uh, had kind of marketing sales, went to University of Missouri, um, had that background, helped grow an agency from a, a few people up to about 70 or 80, um, joined Deal Machine and, and kind of over those years, even at the agency, had a very uh, strong interest in real estate investing in general and would do a lot of things like listening to podcasts like this or, you know, listening to uh, Bigger Pockets or um, even just following uh, our CEO's journey for into, into real estate investing for him, um, you know, for uh, Deal Machine because he's a good friend of mine that I've known for years. Um, so I've kind of just followed that that path and educated myself and now excited to get to the point now where I'm, I'm practicing what we preach and, and getting out there, too. So, um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, my, my, my journey is kind of uh, uh, one, one of, of learning and, and, and trying to listen to things like this to be able to take action on them. See, and that was one of the interesting things is that uh, the guy who created this, I mean, everybody's got a really close St. Louis connection, which I was kind of shocked. I was like, wait a minute, I've been doing this stuff for a little <laughs> while and I had no idea, which is sad. But anyway, uh, so <laughs> how did Deal Machine get started and how long has it been in existence so far? Yeah, so David started it uh, back in 2016 was kind of his first little widget version of, of the app. Um, I don't believe it was officially a company until 2017. Um, but the, the two guys, like you said, the two guys who started it, the two co-founders are from St. Louis. Um, David Lecco, the CEO, is living in Indianapolis now because he actually he grew up here, went to school at um, Missouri S&T or Rolla, um, you know, so not too far from here. And then he actually uh, had started a prior company with uh, his co-founder of Deal Machine, Dave Oster, um, while they were in college and ended up selling that company out of college. Um, when he did that, he's like, hey, what should I do next? He wanted to get into real estate, started going to real estate meetups. Um, when, when he sold that previous company, he moved to Indianapolis because who they sold it to is based out of there. Um, so that was kind of his ties to Indy. And when he would go to these meetups in Indianapolis, he had a bunch of friends there that would say, yeah, try this driving for dollars thing. Like this is, you know, this has been around for decades. It clearly works. It's something people, you know, the idea of just getting in your car and just looking for fixer upper properties for, you know, physically distressed properties uh, isn't new. So 
Um, they told David, hey, you know, start there. And when he started doing that, he realized, man, you know, he has a tech background, but he realized like there's there's just got to be an easier way because he he was right. so frustrated with driving around and having to write down the address, having to look up information about the property, having to create a mailer, having to mail that off, having to make sure to follow up with them. Um, you know, the, the one of the main things that separates people being successful and driving for dollars is the follow through and follow up. So um, having to do that over and over again just takes so much time. So he he realized like, man, there's there's gotta be a better way. And that's where the Deal Machine app came from is him creating technology to make the driving for dollars process much simpler, much easier, much more streamlined, and him have the ability to actually follow up with people consistently to the point where they're actually you know you can actually really scale your leads from that. So, uh, did he come from a coding background, or is it just kind of something that he forcibly picked up and learned because he needed this? Uh, he actually, I mean, he's always been interested in creating things and in technology and, and computers and things like that. So, um, you know, in college, he did a, a bit of, yes, of like computer science. Um, so he had some tech background, um, his co-founder, same thing. But then David had always uh, also had the idea in mind of real estate investing and, and, you know, whenever the timing was right or whenever possible to try to get into that world. So that's where, uh, you know, those two kind of met. And then, you know, when he uh, was was working on his own portfolio. He's up to 10 or 15 units now himself. Um, he was working on his own portfolio and using this widget he was creating to help build that. That's when his friends started asking like, hey, can I use that too? And and like he started showing them like, hey, here's how I'm, here's how I'm figuring out, um, you know, here's how I'm driving for dollars. Here's how I'm uh, using this tech to make it easier to do that. Here's how I'm pinning property, following up with these owners and sending in mail and, you know, doing these individual things, which is now known as the deal machine app. Um, but it started from him just scratching his own inch as an investor. And then his friends saying, Hey, can I do that too? <laughs> That's awesome. So, uh, your title at deal machine is vice president of partnerships. Okay. So yeah. what does that entail? What is that all about? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, and that's my background too. It's uh, partnerships is such a broad term as well. It's I'd say it's kind of a mix between marketing and sales typically. Um, but in general, like, you know, we love aligning ourselves with other other people who know what they're talking about, who are putting out world-class content, who are doing fun things like this, um, that are looking to educate their audiences on great tools for investors to, to, to use. Um, so I often come on and talk about driving for dollars or do a, you know, a masterclass or, or, you know, go on social media and talk about that with some of our partners where we say, Hey, if you're willing to share us with your audience, we want to give them a great deal too. Like we want them to be rewarded for listening to great content, for going out there and doing their research and for listening to stuff like, like this. Um, so we would give them some kind of promo code and say, Hey, if there's anyone, you know, anyone listening to this that uses this promo code, they'll get a special deal where they wouldn't get that deal necessarily if they just came through our website. So anything around our, our partners and our brand advocates, the people who are going to share the word about deal machine and get it out to their audiences. Um, I help them do that. And I help do it in a very educational way where we can give them, you know, give them uh, something great to give their audience and then also help them create great co content in the process where they're educating their audience on how to find deals and how to scale their real estate business. Okay. So you actually get, uh, you, you have one of the, the very fun parts of working for that company because you get to interact with people. You actually help to get to, you, you get to help make the company and the services better because you're actually talking to the people who use it. And th sure. that's super cool, man. That's, that's super cool. It's not just like you're out doing sales or something like that, or just coding or engineering. Yeah. You're, yeah. You're like the, per the, the people person. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's uh, that's, very cool. I'm very, very lucky in terms of my role, but also really love being able to, to, like you said, get to talk to the people actually using it every day yeah. as well and really figure out like what is super helpful for them. What, you know, what should we be doing more of, you know, where can we evolve the app? Um, I try to try to give that feedback and I get to work with our product team on that. I get to work with our sales team to say, Hey, here are the specific use cases of how people are using it. And I get to work with our marketing team to say, Hey, here's how we can get the message out there. You know, get to work with our, our, you know, directly with David. Um, so it's, it's a fun kind of, uh, you know, meeting in the middle in a lot of ways. So I, I definitely enjoy that. Um, and in the end, like the goal is, Hey, how do we continue to share the word, but how do we do it in a way that's as helpful and educational as possible? Because, you know, we're, we're not going to, if people are coming on to use us, 
they're not going to stay with us if we don't if they don't actually use the app if they don't actually get the value out of it if they don't actually land deals from it right so um i love being on that side of teaching people here's how to have success with it and then to see them actually do that and grow their business and and you know uh and you know change their lives hopefully <laughs> yeah yeah really now this may actually kind of go hand in hand with what you just touched on but uh i don't know how difficult it may be to answer this but what mm -hmm. is the most what is what is your, your your most favorite part of being part of deal machine company that is a hard question to answer uh i think so it's it's cool like I, my, my background again i was mentioning it was partnership so it was all kind of sales and marketing um so i've always had that idea in mind of whatever i do but um watching deal machine grow the two, the two guys who started it um were childhood childhood friends of mine. Like I've known him since uh, high school. David, I've known since like middle school. Um, so I've known him forever. Um, all from St. Louis together. Always have enjoyed their their journey and and whatever they're working on. I'm you know a fan of um, watching them create Deal Machine and then watching it truly help people. Like seeing them uh, you know share the message on this and seeing their YouTube. They've got like a hundred something plus videos now of people coming on talking about how it changed their business and how they use deal machine and how, you know, best, uh, best practices and how they are landing deals and all of that. So it's like seeing true case studies of that, of showing people talk about like how this app changed their business and changed their life in a lot of ways um, was really inspiring. So I, I saw that going on, like, man, they're really onto something special. And again, they're, they're some of my best friends. So I always had, you know, had thoughts of like, Hey, you know, whatever they're doing, I, I would love to be a part of at some point. Um, so I think, joining them i joined about just under a year ago joining them and uh being able to work with them actually on the inside and and, and continue to, sh to share that and get out there and talk to people and be involved with our partners be involved with our customers being involved with our whole team like that that entire part of it gives me a lot of energy and joy so i think just the community that they've built and how they help people truly and then the team driving it and um you know who beyond just my friends like who they brought on board um, all of that has been uh, extremely enjoyable and gives me, gives me energy. You know, that's because you touched on them being from St. Louis, which, man, it, it really sparked a thought. Um, so how much more powerful is Deal Machine to be created in one of the hottest real estate investing markets in the country? You know, mm -hmm. right here in the Midwest in St. Louis. And so instead of it being created by somebody on the coast, New York, you know, California, something like that, who have no idea about typically the hottest parts of real estate investing, which is the Midwest area. Do you think that really gave him a, a, a real know-how and leg up on this industry's technology being from St. Louis? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it definitely doesn't hurt. Like it's something where being in the Midwest, I uh, I truly think like, like you said, it's um, you know overall uh, an advantage just for plenty of reasons. But beyond that too, like a lot of the people, even on the coasts or in like a Florida or Texas or things, um, many of them are actually doing virtual driving for dollars now mm -hmm. using our app where um, you can go in and actually use the Google map uh, extension. So if you're a deal machine member and this, we open this up to all to even our starter users, like every single plan now um, gets access to this, but you can actually, it's more like clicking for dollars, but you can go in and jump into Google maps and virtually drive around and pin properties that way too. And we have plenty of people who are on the coast now that um, that are doing that in the Midwest. Like I know St. Louis, Indianapolis, Kansas City, like a ton of these markets in the Midwest are, are you know, uh, as you know, growing extremely quickly and, and a great place, especially for newbies to get started. Um, so yeah, I think I think it definitely uh, gives us an advantage there and, and, and love being, you know, in a market that, that we're surrounded by people that are, are thinking about real estate investing. See, I think you just touched on my next question again. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I was going to ask you, what are, what do you feel are the three most powerful features of Deal Machine? Yeah, reading your mind today. <laughs> yeah, totally, man. Totally. Yeah. Um, the virtual driving for dollars is definitely a really, really strong one. Um, I think the entire uh, automation, this isn't one feature necessarily, but the idea behind automating and, and being able to make it as efficient as possible um, while driving for dollars is another one. So if you can, you can actually on the go, like everything we do, we design for, for investors on the go. And I, I think like that's probably, um, if not our number one, it's one of our top 
differentiators among us and just the real estate investing industry broadly is um, the the actual app. You know, everything we focus on is is saying, hey, mobile first. We know people are out there physically driving around. We know people are out there. They're they're not just sitting at a desktop all day in this business. They're on the go. They're managing their team. They're they're jumping from site to site. They're doing all kinds of stuff like that. Um, so I think the automation and being able to make it really mobile friendly is one of those things. So we make it really simple and easy to actually, you know, pin properties on the go, look up uh, uh, data on the go, skip trace one off on the go, comp, you know, pull up comps on the go, um, send mailers. So that way, if you say, hey, yeah, this is a great property, maybe you call them and left a voicemail or maybe shout them a text or an email or something through the app. Um, you can just be one tap away from saying, hey, take a picture of the property. So that way their, their photo shows up automatically on the postcard and then hit send and you can send a postcard, you know, once a, a month or however often. So it, it kind of automates all of the that entire process of finding the property, looking up information and then marketing to that property owner. I think that automation flow is one of our main differentiators, um, the virtual stuff for sure. And then um, outside of that, I know um, like our, our uh, deal machine members that are doing multiple deals a month and really focused on growing their business long term like that and doing high volume. Um, I think our third piece would be our driving for dollars teams that you can build in there. Um, so you can actually go in and on uh, within the driving tab in deal machine, you can go in and add people to your account. So um, you can try to re you know either recruit a, a bird dog or a deal finder to go out and start driving for you. Um, add them to your account. Um, if you're on our elite level, it trains them for you too. Like it gives them a series of videos that if they watch these seven or eight videos, they'll be ready to go. You know, completely trained to go out, to go out there and find deals. And then um, it gives them the really simple and easy power of saying, hey, they take their phone and they start driving around and they start adding properties to your account as well. So that way it's not just you out there driving, but you have an entire fleet of people that are covering your city um, and adding adding distressed properties to your account for you to go in and then market to. So I, th I think that you know the virtual stuff, the driving teams, and then the automation around all of it for our driving for dollars specifically, I think that's kind of the, you know, our, our three of our most powerful uh, areas. Man, that's, that's good. So I, I kind of needless to say, you guys are probably always testing, implementing new features mm -hmm. every month, probably. Yeah. Twi so twice a month, you'll see an update come out from us every two weeks. So wow, nice. um, that, that's another one, like, you know, um, I would say a lot of companies just in, in tech in general, it's a lot to keep up with. It's hard to be able to yeah. consistently update like that, you know? Um, so you, a lot of times you'll see like, oh, you know, small, minor kind of bug fixes and stuff. But for us, we really try to differentiate ourselves by proactively doubling down. And we've got almost 10 people on our development team now full time where all they do is listen to you guys, like listen to the, the deal machine members of what they want next and then develop that out. So that is awesome. That's super awesome. Cool. That's good. Cause, uh, man, throughout my journey, I've had so much bad tech support and just, it's hard. And, oh my God. <laughs> it's rough, <laughs> man. It's rough. Yeah. 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 And so, then I mean, customer support too. Like that's, that's the other thing. Like I know, um, we've got like, uh, 10 or 15 now people that that's all they focus on is customer uh, support. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's, uh, you know, if you, uh, you know, you can test it out yourself, but on average, our response time is less than five minutes uh, and within the deal machine app. So um, we really take pride in, 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 uh, in that portion of what we do as well. That's awesome. So uh, since you've been on this uh, journey in the real estate investing industry and with a deal machine, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure nothing's always been just a bed of beautiful roses for you. So uh, <laughs> what, what was that time in your life when you felt most unsuccessful. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, and any new role that you're jumping into, there's a learning curve. Like um, for me, I, you know, I'm, I knew a lot about real estate investing just from listening to content like this, but I wasn't necessarily in it every single day. So um, that's something when, when, when new to deal machine, you know, I had to figure out that learning curve and jump in head first and try to try to uh, learn, you know, learn as much as possible, both about the industry and our contacts and all of that. So it, you know, can definitely be a little overwhelming at first. So I'd say like, you know, uh, any kind of job transition, um, that, that part can be tough. Um, and then in general, like I've been in sales roles before, um, you know, especially before deal machine where some months you are doing amazing some months, you know, nothing's coming through. So you, I, I think like there's always something you have to really kind of center yourself and always, 
um, you know, stick to the process. And regardless of, of you know, uh, results, if they go up and down, you know, because of many different factors in the market and, and, and other things like that, I really try to focus on being the best I can every day and improving that a little bit every single day and um, looking to others around me that are doing great and kind of you know learning from others as well. And I think if you're constantly improving yourself and testing and, and, and figuring out how can I consistently do that um, and focus on the process, the re- even if the results can be up and down, like um, you have to remember in those down months, hey, don't get too low. And remember those high months, don't get too high and, and yeah. be able to really like uh, stay even keel and, can, and focus on the journey rather than necessarily the results every time. So is it safe to say that when you joined Deal Machine, you were still learning the real estate investing industry and now you had to learn some technology simultaneously? Is that accurate? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I think right. like, yeah, in, in, in um, real estate, you know, that in general, um, I think it helped me that I had even not just David, but I had a couple other friends who, you know, were into uh, house flipping or they, you know, ran into syndication or they, you know, um, uh, were in construction. Like there's a couple other industries that I had friends in that were kind of tangential to real estate investing or involved in some way. So I learned a good amount from them over the years as well. So I wasn't going in cold by any means, but yeah. um, being able to at least, uh, you know, being learning about a business and being in the business is very is two very different things, right? Yeah. So there's still a learning curve there. <laughs> cool. So right now in uh, in your current business life, uh, mm-hmm. what's your one positive goal you're focused on right now? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I'm doing my job if I'm building more relationships like this, where it's, where, like you said, where it's, hey, um, we want to align ourselves with great people, putting out great content that are educating people on how to how to change their real estate business, how to grow their real estate business, how to, you know, if they're just getting into real estate, it's how to, you know, being able to just give them really easy, actionable steps to here's what you do to get started and 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 make it really simple and straightforward for them. So um, if I can align our brand with people who are putting out amazing stuff like that and be able to, to just build more relationships that way and spread the word that way, then I'm doing my job. Um, I know our more advanced investors, it's like, hey, how do we get, a more inf- efficient business? How do we do a higher volume of deals per month? Things like that. Um, and even in, for those situations, it's coming in and doing a deeper dive and saying here, you know, we can be a tool in this way to help you do that. So um, I think I'm doing my job if we're listening to the customer, creating a great product, and then listening to the, the backside and figuring out, okay, where's the great content coming from? How do we align ourselves with that? And try to be kind of a meeting of, of all of that where we're getting, giving the most volume and the biggest microphone or the, the most uh, the most value in you know, the, to the biggest group of people. So uh, usually this question I would ask, you know, typically real estate investors, but it would be interesting to, to see where you take it. Mm-hmm. But aside from Deal Machine, what is mm-hmm. your favorite piece of technology that you use day to day right now? Yeah. Um, you know, within, I mean, we, our business runs, I mean, I, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time, um, you know, being in that kind of uh, relationship building role where we have to track and figure out like, you know, making sure we continue to move the ball forward on all kinds of different projects with different people and keep our lives organized in some way. Um, we live in HubSpot in their uh, uh, technology. So really love that. Um, you know, I, I think like when it comes to um, just, uh, you know, technology in general as well. Um, I'm always looking to get more and more efficient in, in my life. So I do things like um, working with a virtual assistant. Absolutely love that. And she uses a variety of tools. Um, I know I'm, I'm always using um, uh, this. <laughs> there's, there's this email client called Superhuman, <laughs> uh, which is basically a very like keyboard heavy uh, version, version of Gmail, like a lot of shortcuts and whatnot. Um, I use that to, to be able to automate a lot of stuff. So um, I think like any any tools that are going to focus on productivity and saving time, um, I'm always curious to try out and use. And then, you know, that's why even for Deal Machine, like I'm using the app. Uh, we're, we're currently, um, you know, on the job or on the um, uh, um, housing hunt right now as well for our own like personal residence, um, you know, outside of any like real estate investing that I'm doing, you know, outside of Deal Machine, um, even for our own house, I'm using Deal Machine to kind of look for our next place as well, because I know on the market's crazy. Yeah. So like anything like that, that can save me time, um, I'm, I'm always looking to, to, um, to try out. <laughs> what's, uh, what's Deal Machine's current user base? Um, I know we've had overall, um, 
I know active uh, users, there's, there's probably about 10,000 or so in the, in the community that are actively using it every single month. Um, and that's our, our Facebook group also reflects that as well. Um, I know our total footprint, if you look at like people who, um, you know, who we're trying to build relationships with, that's, it's closer to like 300,000 people that we've touched at some point. Um, but obviously, you know, uh, those are all people that you, everyone's real estate journey individually is going to be different. Like some people are going to be active one year and then not the next and come back. Um, you know, we want to help those people find their footing and help them get started. And then we also want to help those people who already have a real estate, uh, you know, business and maybe multiple people on their team take it to the next level. So it's kind of a mix between uh, those two types of folks, I'd say. So you mentioned um, the Deal Machine Facebook group. What can people yeah. expect when they're in that group? Yeah, the community group is definitely um, one of our unique differentiators as well, just because of how active and how focused they, it is on helping each other. Like, I, I, if you jump in there, it's pretty cool to see the positivity that goes on. I think, you know, it's uh, it's focused on giving tools and tips and, and strategies to finding deals um, and really anything in real estate investing. It's great for finding other people in your market. Like, you can jump in there and say, hey, who else uses Deal Machine in this area? Or, you know, who else is based here? And you can really kind of you even meet your own meet mentors in there um, and then even use it for accountability. Like people will oh, help wow. kind of cheer each other on and, and, and help, uh, you know, uh, you know, whenever they land a deal, they say, Hey, how close are you to your next deal? Or how many leads have you added this month? Or, you know, they'll help hold each other accountable. So it's a, it's a great place to get great positive energy, get, you know, be held accountable, meet, you know, network and, and maybe even meet mentors. So if people want to get started with deal machine, how do they get started? Yeah. So I, I know if they go to, um, you know, obviously uh, through our website, you can get a, a seven day free trial through there. Um, you know, I, I know in general we have like the, the Facebook group as well. Um, probably the biggest tip I have for you um, when you start that seven day free trial is uh, make sure that you sign up for, for one of our live trainings. Um, because we have every, you know, when you actually go through and, and sign up for Deal Machine and, and do that free trial, um, you'll be prompted with a, a, a bunch of options to sign up for a training where we have a full time person over here um, that every single day um, or every single weekday, I guess, um, jumps on and we'll jump on a Zoom and guide you through how to use Deal Machine and answer your questions live. We'll, we'll coach you on how to use the app. Um, so that way you spend uh, your seven days getting the most value possible out of it and make sure you hit the ground running so, you know, totally for free. So that way, by the time the seventh day's up, you're like, oh, this is a no brainer. I've already built momentum. I've already put a ton of leads in. I'm already talking to people. Like, you know, you're starting to see that long-term vision and it's not just something you try out and get rid of, but it's something that we set you up for long-term success. Again, like we love aligning ourselves with people like Antonio who are putting out amazing content um, because we know you guys are the ones that are most likely to stay with us and actually see the value of the app. Like, you know, you're ready to get out there and take action and you're educating yourself on all things real estate. So we know like, hey, you know, these are the people we really need to take care of. So for Antonio, um, for you guys, I know if you click the link that he's going to provide here, um, we're going to get you hooked up with a $15 in free credit in, in addition to that a uh, seven day free trial. And that way the $15 that that equals about a hundred skip traces totally for free um, or about 25 or so mailers, a little more than that uh, completely for free. So that way when you're out there and you're doing, you sign up for the free trial for, for uh, you know, seven days, um, you do the live training and then you get out there and start adding leads and start trying to get in touch with people. We want to make it completely free for you to skip trace and call them or send them an email or a text or for you to send mailers and start to try to get in touch with people. And that way you have the best experience possible. You um, see the value right away. You start to have conversations immediately and then understand, hey, here's why it's, you know, it's a long term strategy, but here's why it's worth the investment. Because, you know, when you land that first deal, you know, it'll pay off uh, and, you know, tenfold for, for anything you've invested. Yeah, that's that's what I was going to say. That's a great offer because you, you could use that to do just one deal and it's all paid without even mm -hmm. a thought. <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's, that's the goal good. there for sure. Awesome. Awesome. OK, so um, uh, since entering into the world of deal machine and real estate investing, mm -hmm. what are you most grateful for? Man, I, I think. Um, you know, outside of obviously, I, we've talked about my team a good amount. Um, they are incredible. Like, like to see, um, you know, on the product side, like to see how much they truly value the customer. I know that's something that um, can be 
can be tough in the tech space is, you know, if you're on the development side, like sometimes you might just be like focused on your lane and maybe not thinking, you know, not taking, not picking your head up and looking around and listening to customers necessarily as, as uh, easily. That's not, you know, not an easy thing to do. Um, so I, I, I'm super appreciative for our tech team to focus on that. I'm super appreciative for our customer service team who um, give shout outs all the time about how amazing they are. And like, oh, I talked to, you know, Joy or I talked to, you know, uh, AJ or whoever it was on our team the other day. And like, coming on to podcasts often with them and them getting shout outs is awesome. Um, I know like our team kind of in our vision through David and through our sales team and all of that, um, you know, is, uh, uh, you know, I'm super thankful there as well. And then even like our social media team, they put out phenomenal educational content because again, like, we're very focused on long-term wins and long-term relationships with the customer. Like, you know, the, uh, we, we need to be supporting you guys if, if you're going to stay around with us. Right. So putting out great content is going to help you do that, help you take it to the next level. So I think super grateful for my whole team. And then for my family, like um, to see how my wife has handled a job transition and a, a housing, you know, we're moving houses. Like I mentioned, we've got three kids uh, that are all, you know, ages five and under, like, we've got a lot going on to, so to, yeah. for our, for our family to be uh, this supportive through all of that transition. Um, I can't be more grateful, uh, you know, for that. So I'm, I'm a, you know, very lucky guy all the way around. Yeah. I was going to say, you got a lot of good things to be uh, grateful for. That's great. That's mm -hmm. awesome. So uh, before I hit you with the last question, just want to tell you, thanks for being here today. It was yeah. great to chat with you. It's great to continue this relationship we got going here. I've been talking to you guys for a while and it's awesome every every conversation. So I, I, I'm grateful for that. So thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm grateful for, for you having me on. I mean, this has been great. And, you know, the fact that you're in St. Louis, too, is... is uh, I know, it's blowing cool. my mind still. Yeah. Well, we'll have to hang out in person here soon, so I love it. I know, man. <laughs> so finally, Matt, as a member of a company that works alongside with real estate investors... Um, What's your definition of providing your customers with excellent service? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, um, you know, our service, it, it starts on the product, even just the product creation. Like, I think, you know, we're not serving you unless we're giving you the tools that you need to be successful. So if we're not listening to, um, you know, the challenges you have every day and, you know, what, what you're doing in your real estate business, exactly how you use technology, you know, how we fit into, into every other technology and service that you're using. Um, just understanding what is going to get, what's going to make you more successful to begin with and, li and listening through customer feedback like that um, from the beginning is where we, where we focus on, you know, the definition of, of listening to, to you know, customer being excellent for the customer. It starts there. Um, then that needs to translate into creating the product. So um, again, we're, we're, you know, like I mentioned earlier, every two weeks you see a major update come out about us. It's because we have that full team focused every day that all they do is take what you're telling us that you need and implementing that into a technology that's really simple and easy to use. So that way we're not just throwing a bunch of features at you, but it actually makes sense on, you know, on, you know, when you jump in the app, it makes it really easy for you to, to get started and, and provide the most value as quick as possible, but also be complex enough. So that way, if you're an advanced investor, it's not just for newbies, it's something that can really scale and grow and be complex for you and with your, with the needs that you have across your whole business. So I think it's listening to the customer. It's actually taking action on that and implementing it. And then it's properly communicating that and getting feedback on it. So that, that's where I come in is we want to educate people on all the ways they can use it. Our marketing team puts it out there, our sales team. And then, you know, when they hear that, uh, you know, hear, hear the feedback of, hey, yeah, we love we love this, but tweak this, um, you know, that our, our the loop continues, that we bring that back and, you know, are listening again and our tech team's taking action on it and we're, you know, have that full kind of communication feedback. So I think excellence is an entire company-wide thing to embody. Um, our customer service team, you know, they're the ones who are getting a lot of that feedback and supporting you on how to, how to use that stuff too. Um, but that it's a full team um, mentality more than anything. And that's why with our core values, like um, the, the customer winning like that, that is the, the guiding light of if we're doing our job or not. Investors, I hope you've enjoyed my quick conversation today. Check out more great content like this at UnitedStatesRealEstateInvestor.com. Also, do not forget to rate, review, and subscribe wherever you find podcasts. Please do us a huge favor and visit our sponsor, ARS Construction, at AdvancedRoofSYS.com. 
Thanks for listening, and as always, stay grateful, stay successful, and be free. If you'd like to be a guest or a host in your city, please contact us at UnitedStatesRealEstateInvestor.com. Music by Harris Heller. Is your rental business not running quite the way you hoped? Are tenant problems becoming, well, your problem? Are you skeptical about turning over your rental portfolio to a property manager? Meet Mark Dolfini, landlord coach, full-time real estate investor, and best-selling author of the book, The Time Wealthy Investor 2.0. Mark once thought that real estate investing was the best way to quit his job and become his own boss. The trouble was he ended up working more hours than ever and ended up working for the worst boss in the world, himself. With lots of help, learning, and trial and error, Mark has turned his once 20-hour-per-day real estate job into a two-hour-per-week real estate business. And he'd like to share his secrets with you so you can do the same. Head on over to LandlordCoach.com forward slash STL for Mark's free quick start kit. Look, money's important, no doubt, but time is the holy grail. If you're ready to have the passive income real estate business you've always dreamed of, if you want more money and time in your life, if you want actual freedom on your calendar, if you want time wealth, head on over to LandlordCoach.com forward slash STL for your free quick start kit. That's LandlordCoach.com forward slash STL. Remember, if you don't place a value on your time, someone else will.